Griff, Greg, uh, sorry, Griff and Ross are out on the track, no approaching them, and Greg's on the start um, start lights, and he's going to be in charge of uh, when the water goes out, when we maintain the track. Um, he's doing that of the advice of what the marshals see and a few others that are going to be cruising around. Um, we will we'll want to keep the racing going, so it'll only be getting water when it needs it, and it'll only be getting track repair when we need it. Yeah. So if the track does get a bit, <laughs> the track does get a bit wet and a bit slippery, suck it up. I hate um, racing in the mud as well. I'm hopeless at turning, it, and I'll put up with it. So, um, like I said earlier on, Griff's decision is final. There's no arguing about it. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's been doing it for a lot of years. It was good to having come up here and help us out. Yeah, thanks Andy. <laughs> Oh yeah, good point. Now with this wind coming up, oh, there's already one gone. Make sure your gazebos. Gav's pointing that out because one couple of years ago landed on his beamer and did a fair bit of damage. So at least with this wind, it's not going to blow onto the track, but they do do damage to vehicles. Now there is a change to prize giving. We were going to have the prize giving in the dark, in the cold, in the paddock, which was going to be pretty miserable. That has now changed, and we've managed to secure the um, Kaipoi Workman's Club. It's a buffet-type finger food for supper after the prize giving. No complaints about it. They had about 10 minutes to organise it and couldn't get food on Good Friday. So, But she reckons she can definitely pull something together. And the bar staff there have actually come off holiday to actually do the bar for us. And that we've managed to get it to 11 o'clock as well, which on Easter Sunday is pretty good. So i uh, pretty sure it's downstairs. I, I think so. That's what she mentioned. So um, They did mention that the bistro will be open from about 5 o'clock. And so you can go there early if you want to have a beer and a substantial feed if you hungry after racing. Now another reminder that the President's meeting will be at the end of today's racing um, and that'll be over by my trailer which is by the big trailer with Power Plus and Gardner Excavating on it. <laughs> now I'll just um, let you know, RJPTV are live streaming the event um, and they're also going to upload all the racing up onto YouTube straight after it. And i um, got to take my hat off to them. They were re streaming and recording in Cromwell last night and they're here all set up. So they'll, they've got two cameras from what I gather and they'll be filming the whole weekend. So... Um, Yeah, now yeah, the track marshals, um, they're right here. They're not kart racers. They've uh, once again helping us out. They do our club champs and they've done the New Zealands a few times, so definitely no approaching or abusing them. <laughs> now Andy's got to just to have a wee talk about how he's going to lay things out on the grid, so I'll hand him over to him now. Okay, we've got over 200 carts, so if you guys can help us out, a minute wasted by every person is an extra two hours we've got to stand outside. So yeah, be on your game. Um, when you grid it up, what I'm looking for is the front stubs in line with the painted line on the track inside the two sidebars, all right? No push bars over the front. Stub axles in, in line with the green paint, or yellow paint. Pretty straightforward. 
When I call you forward from the dummy grid onto the grid proper, consider the pit gates closed. If you're not up there at that time, you've missed your race. All right? If you've got two carts doubled up in classes, park them next to the trestle table that's out there, and we'll be well aware that you're in one race and ready to race in the next. Other than that, um, be nice and kind to your marshals. They've given up their day so that you can enjoy yours. And uh, let's get on with it, eh? Yeah. Just um, one thing on that. Like the people, there is quite a few that have got back to back. Speak to Andy when you get up there the first time and bring your second cart. And if he sees the cart sitting there, he will make it. Uh, one other thing to mention, we're going to keep racing the day. We're not, if we can get it in, we're going to start into round four because um, we have got a southerly coming through this afternoon at some stage and possible showers in the morning. So if we can fit as much racing in today, we will. So we're not running out of daylight tomorrow. So just be aware of that. And apart from that, enjoy yourselves, and no one's allowed to pass 256 <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, Liv's got some more shirts for sale as well. Shirts will also be for sale at the big gardener tent. There are spares, so you can go there for any if you need. Just make sure today too, until we tell you otherwise, turn left at the end of the straight. Turn left. Very important. Uh, just let everybody know that there will be a look lap for the midgets. There will be a look a lap for the midgets. Only for the midgets.
the first race today is the ladies race, show 6 to 5, 10. We've got Lisa Harris, Hannah Davidson, Maria Barnes, Nicola Kane, Connie McKay, Karen Carpenter, Nicola Mulholland, Jessica Ryan, Oliver Stewart, Olivia Torrance, and Sarah Jane Terrace. We need some push bikes on the dummy group, please.
is. All right, huh? Sorry. Got to go back a page. Thank you very much. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, go away. All right, I'll do that again. Ah, okay, we got Connie McKay. She was in the last race anyway, so she's doing two. She's off one. We, um, we've been waiting for the ambulance and we changed it from um, 10 o'clock to 9 o'clock and it has arrived but we're going to continue on and if there's any uh, first aiders or anybody with medical, professional medical skills if they can come and see an official, go and see Taylor Bryan or come and see um, me or Stan and I'll send you on the right way. Cheers. Just want to know you, that you're here. We good? Everyone has to do a transponder check, don't forget, before you start your race. I'm a bit, a bit blind these days, so I struggle to see the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 yeah, you got that. Must be that chat, that channel must have a proper auxiliary on it. What did you do? Was, was it him? Oh, after all that, so I could actually put it back in the other channel.
Oh, now my book's blown away. Oh, God. Here it is. Right, yeah. Right out of the way. Looks like um, Courtney got a wee good start there, Courtney Hornsby. Coming into the first corner now. We've all made it through the first corner. First couple of corners, all good. Courtney Hornsby still in first place. Can't really pick up who's second yet. Could be Kate Brown. It's going to take me a wee while to get used to all these carts and what they look like. I think that looks like Kate Brown streaking away there as she normally does. May not be yet. It's good to see the boys here help me out with who they are. Cakes there. Courtney's Courtney's gone back for third. Two five nine. That's Jackie Bellis. Oh, Jackie Brown, oh, we almost hit the second place there, took out a wee cone. I'll be Connie Mackay in second place there, I think. It's hard to pick up the numbers. Especially when you're blind. But old Katie Brown's definitely up. Kate Brown's definitely well and truly in the lead. Might be Charlotte and Vandermeer is actually in second place now. Courtney Horn, Hornsby in third. Yeah, that is Charlotte. You're right. And Kate Brown's really pulling out a good lead now. She's showing them all how it's done. And so Charlotte. Both the two leaders have got well away from the pack. No one seems to have fallen off the track in this race, so that's very well done. They're all still going. The 
We've got Hannah Cartwright there in fourth place. Oh, you get one, one spin off. Who is that? It's right there away again. I think that was Leanne Ryan. But here comes um, Kate Brown's actually going to come around and almost lap, lap someone here. One lap. No, they've got a finish flag. So she didn't quite make the finish there, but Kate Brown won that one. In second place, we have got uh, Charlotte Vandermeer. And in third, we've got Courtney Hornsby. And in fourth, we have... Uh, can't see his number now. Too far away. Radio up next, we've got the uh, 206 to 5 10cc ladies race. I do believe we may have a wee delay here because we've got first and two carts. So we've got Lisa Harris off in one, Anna Davidson off in two, Maria Barnes off in three, Nicola Kane in four. Connie Mackay in five, Karen Carpenter in six, Nicola Mulholland in seven, Jessica Ryan in eight, Olivia Stewart in nine, and Sarah Jane Terrace in ten. We might have a couple of double ups for both of the carts there. Taking a wee bit of time to get the drivers changed over for the next race. Doubling up on carts. I'd say my pick for this race will be Olivia Stewart. We'll see how she goes. She's got a back start, but... You never know. Hey, uh, and you guys, please, can you um, put the speakers down? So um, they're no good when they're pointed at the sky. Thank you. They were all set up just nicely when I set it all up. And they're off. Yeah, Lisa Harris has got a, a real good start here. We've all made it through the first corner. It's always a good sign. Lisa Harris is still in there. Can't really pick who's coming through yet. It's a nice little pass there. Christchurch guys having a wee go there. 6.53 was Jessica Ryan. And the lead's just changed now. Couldn't really see who that was.
Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Two oh five, okay, you're not now on the dummy grid. the cautious sort of out now if 205 doesn't come to dummy grad you'll mess with ice I'll try and get organized now Not 
274 in the lead, 303 in the second, 686 eight, six, six in third, 765 in fourth, 260 in fifth. Rest of them are coming to quick the call. So that's Michaela Webb in, in first place there. Second place is Logan Drivers, Divers, sorry. Another one spun up there. It's 765. Get ready for the race. The good clear lead. Kyle Webb just pulled away from the whole field. Is still working over there? Is the PA still working over there? Kyla Webb's going to take this one out with 571 in second place. Harrison Knight, 273 in third place. And 303, maybe in fo yep, fourth place. 260 in fifth. 994 in sixth. Seventh, couldn't catch his number. Number eight was 942. Yeah, or well the rest are just following the rest. And pulling up the right at the end there is Holly Butler, I think. I, yes, Holly Butler. Right, our next one's been. Um, Sponsored by Today Homes. They um, look after your houses, of course. That's the intermediate open. There's uh, a lot to call out here. Archie West is off one. Tom, Tommy Henry's off two. Luke Gardner's off three. Nixon Turner's off four. Scott McLaren's off five. Hadley Wilson's off Six, Matthew Bailey's off seven, Aaron Byfield is off eight, Ryan Gallagher's off nine.
Uh, just let you know that the timing isn't working as... Okay, so it's just not patching through to something or other. Um, but you can get your, your live timing off, off cast at CTAS Live Timing. CTAS Live Timing. And you'll find their link, I'd say, if you chuck it into Google. Um, Taylor will probably put one of those on the trailer, will you? Can you? Yeah, he'll be taping one of those to the um, commentator's trailer. Just to let you know where the website is if you want to do your times. A few issues there. So nine carts in this one. Ten in the next heat. Two heats with the intermediates. Uh, don't forget guys, be as organised as you can when you get up to that grid. Don't leave it too late, be early if you can. Don't know many of these drivers. I know Aaron Byfield and I know Mikhail Webb, Luke Gardner. Most of these others I don't know that well. Intermediate open, this is. So they can run uh, anything up to 200 cc's no matter what engine. All right. Oh, we've got one coming straight from the back there. A beautiful start. Looked like an 800 number. He's getting away. So it's Scott McLaren in first place here. Second place is 877, which is Rory, Ryan Gallagher. Uh, couldn't catch third, but fourth is Aaron Byfield. Pretty tight here. Could be anybody's race. I'm going to take a small mistake. The 694 in third place, which is Nixon Turner. We got Aaron Byfield in third. And fourth, sorry. And Luke Gardner there in, in fifth.
104-874-694-143-116-106. Couple of stragglers here. One four four, and Luke Gardner is now pulling up the rear. So he's still got Scott McLaren in his place. Eight seventy seven is Ryan Gallagher in second. Oh, there's been a wee bit of a spin up down the end there. That's ruined someone's race. Seeing they are juniors, they are allowed assistance so they can car carry on racing. We've got a bit of back, back traffic here, I think. 874, and they've all got past and pretty clean. It's Matthew Bailey was the one. Being lapped. There's a, quite a clear difference between these carts. Now 874 is going to be hard to beat all weekend, I would say. And that's Scott McLaren. Oh, we've got Luke Gardner. He's he's died on the on the corner just before the finish. Oh, he didn't complete his race, unfortunately. We've got 143 at the end there, which is um, coming around last place after all that. He was doing well, number four. He was the fourth before, now he's last. That was Ryan. No, it wasn't. It was... Right, hey, next up we've got the junior standard Liffin, which is um, Hunter Civil. We've got the car of Ryan in 108, number one, Logan Walls, five, 585, and number two, Coden Sprague, Sprague, yeah, at 184, Sam Johnson. 196, Luke's, Luke Burling in 278, Lewis Whittle in 536, Carter Biggs on our way, here we go, good start for number one there. Alright, we've got a out of town cart there in first place. Can't catch his number yet.
And if you need drivers, come back to the next race. Can you please let us know? Right, worked out what I did there. I was on the wrong page again. Six for one, Nate McCabe is in first place. I'd say that's Bacal Bacal Malachi Webb in second, I think. Yes, it is. In third place. Aiden Perkins. Oh, Malachi's just spun up just before the finish there. That she was lucky to get away with that. Now we've got a good bunch here, though. A couple of places might be taken there. Yeah, nicely passed there by 994 nine, the last minute. Which is Mitchell Hawkins. Hawk, sorry. And that one there was uh, brought to you by Today Homes as well. Don't forget our sponsors. Now I'll get on the right page. I'll, be, I'll get this right by the next round, you know. I am a novice. All right. Michaela Ryan, 108. First plate in, in grid one for the next round, which is the junior standard lifting. Logan Walls, five, three, five, and two. Corbin Sprague, one, eight, four, and three. Sam Johnson, one, nine, six, and four. Luke Byrne at Burling, two, seven, eight, and five. Lewis Withel, five, three, six, and six. Carter Biggs, nine, one, six, and seven. Friends, Oh, that's a hard one. Coastal D Plus in 7.50 on 8. Cooper Fraser on 9. He's uh, 9.33. Brody Neal, 2.34 and 10. And this one's brought to you by Hunter Civil. Could be some um, track maintenance happening maybe soon. I see... Uh, France is getting the track to go. Have to excuse me, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Now 
Now I just realised I've got the pages stuck together. It's actually the midgets next. So I'll do all that again. We've got Alfie Mason, 684 on one. Hunter Bailey, 100 on two. Ollie Knight, 572 on three. Ollie Hope, 252 on four. Jack Small, 116 on five. Lucy Clark, 105 on six. Nixon Foster, 966 on seven. Braxton Hansen, 575 and eight. Miller Wilson, 930 and 9. Hudson Davidson, 0 to 0 at 10. Darcy Houston, 887 and 11. Carter Biggs, 505 and 12. Jacob Webb, 267 and 14. Emma Gallagher, 13. I don't think I've ever seen this many uh, midgets at the uh, New Zealand Champs before. They've all had the wee look a lap. Get to have a wee look around. <coughs> Don't forget to, you can have a live stream from RJP TV on your uh, tablet or your phone today if you wanted to, and it's all going to be uploaded to YouTube later on. So you don't actually have to stand at the fence and watch it if you don't want to. Hopefully you filled your data up before you came out here. All right, they're about ready to go, I think. Too far off. Righto. Here's the little guys, five to nine years old. Now we're off. Good start there. Oh, yeah, 116. Jack Small got a great start. Just blitzed them. Jack Small, he's doing really well there. It might be Alfie Mason, I think, in second place. Yeah, it's Alfie Mason, and they're followed up there by... Oh, I dare say that would be a web. Jacob Webb. Jacob gets up, once he gets going, he... He's a pretty good driver. Everyone's made the first lap, which is always a good sign. Just let you all know that we've got two tracks here today. Both are identical, all been GPS. So they're both exactly the same, just one goes one way and one goes the other. So we've still got Al Alfie Mason there in first place. Followed by Jack Small, followed by Jacob Webb. Followed by Hunter Bailey. Hudson Davidson's next. Could be battle going up the front here though. Three carts, it could be anybody's race. Only someone has to just make something silly. One wee mistake, all closing in. Got one spun up here just by the start line. He's away again. Yeah, it could be anybody's race here at the front. Got 116 in the front now. Which is Jack Small who's taken the lead back. 
of Alfie Mason. And Jacob Webb still right there in the in the action too. Oh, he got one over there on the just taking out a couple of cones. Oh, look at that! He's a good boy. But actually went back and put the cone back. That's unusual. Yeah, well Jack Small still got the lead. He's taking it back. So two laps to make. No, I think on the last one, can't really see whether Greg's got the white flag out or not. Oh, he's pulled away a bit now. Spreading themselves out, those three. Oh, well, it's a good battle here. 887 and 020. Oh, nice. Almost made the underpass. Not quite. Could have worked for him. Another one spun up here. Gonna get the way of the... No, we're all good. So it's still Jack Small. Jack Small. Away from Alfie Mason. Jacob Webb in third. On their last lap now. The field's really got spread out on this lot. Almost everyone's racing on their own. The only ones that are really fighting are the ones in the lead. There's some back markers in there. He's actually coming around to lap them. Oh, I think the lead may have changed again. Yes, it has. Alfie, Alfie Mason's back in first. Jack Small, second. Jacob Webb, the third. That's why it finishes up on that one. All pretty good for the first race of the day. They've all seemed to be finishing the race. No mechanicals. It's always great to see these kids racing. How's your audio, audio feed over there? Is it still, still cool, 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 clean, clean enough? enough? Cool. Cool. Might have a wee uh, hold up here. Trunks might need to get in the brush. I think we might have to get some uh, dirt brushed off. All right, what we've got next. I'll get it right. I've already announced this one once. The pages are stuck together. Junior standard lifting. Don't really have time to read their numbers out now because they're about to go. I'll catch them when they come around. Mikaela Ryan's off one, Logan Wall's off two, Corbin Sprague off three, Sam Johnson off four, Luke Burling off five, Lewis Whipple off six, Carter Big seven, Franz Christoph something or other off seven, <laughs> I've got off eight, and Cooper Fraser off nine, and Brody Neal off ten. Yep, we got 
Someone got a good jump there off the start. Have Slogan Walls in the front there. Logan always goes pretty good. Keeps his carts nice and tidy. Second. All good racing, close racing here. Still Logan Walls, he's pulling away now. Franz Krislov, the police, is the second. Third is I'll catch it when it comes around. Called the Sprague. Carter Biggs. In fourth. All sticking together, but that's what you get when you race standard lifts. They're all the same engines. They're all standard. They should all be sticking together. incident there. Christchurch cart in an Invercargill cart, I believe, or oh, one, 170 I think it was. No. Corbin Sprague's taking the lead now. Corbin Sprague's still, still on the lead here. He's got number... 278 behind him, which is Luke Burling. He's given a bit of a hurry up. We got Logan Walls in third. Cooper Fraser in fourth. We're all sticking together pretty good. It's Corbin Sprouse from the first place there. Uh, Logan Walls in third. Luke Burling in second. Corbin Sprague, I should say. 184. Driving really well. It's Luke Burling. Yep. Corbin. Corbin won that one. Luke Burling came in second. And third was uh, Logan Walls. We got 750 bringers up the, the last which is
If I'm um, number 70, I'm um, 750, you could come and tell me how to pronounce his surname would be really good, because I can't work it out. All right, now we've got the junior open up next. So we've got Thomas Johnson, 170 on one. Josh Silcock, 244 on two. Kate Kelsey, 504 on three. Oliver Power, 150 on four. Sam Whistle, 978 on five. Ollie Brook, I'm not going to get time to read these out. They're going to be gone. So I'll just call it. All right, we got someone from 540. Um, so just as, as we're racing here, just take a bit of time to reflect as well. Um, we don't want anyone to go home injured today, so leave each other a bit of racing room. Um, treat each other with respect on the track, and um, let's all go home safe, eh? Uh, taking, taking risks that uh, potentially injure other people is uh, definitely not the name of the game here. Uh, so, yeah, just keep in mind. So we've got Josh Silcock here in uh, first place. Followed by Jack Nairn. you got to watch out for Jack. He's a pretty good driver. But so is Josh. Can't see what the next one is. Looks like we got three, four, four Christchurch cats in the lead. A few different engines in here. The FXR 150's in the lead. Carter Biggs in third place. Ollie Brook in third. Another thing too, guys, don't forget to clean your numbers in between races, otherwise I can't call your name out. If there's any other drivers out in the post, please come down. 540, I don't know who that is. But not. Now, Ollie Brooks did a nicely pass there. On 540, I don't know who 540 is because they're not in the book. Got someone over there. Tired or trying to get their cart going. There's still two four four in the lead. Josh Silcock. I haven't been able to get near him. Jack Nan can't get near him. Got Thomas Johnson, he's pulling up the rear, he's only in a wee one in a wee eighty five CC cart. Still Josh Silcock, first place. Driving really well. Jack Nan starting to pull up on Josh now. Don't think he's going to have any time to do it though. 
getting a few ruts on that corner there already. Yep. Josh Philcock. Follow by Jack Nairn. Number 540 and bringing up the rear. No, sorry, 170. Thomas Johnson, 540, I don't know who it is because they're not in the book. That was brought to you by Stadium Finance. Oh, here we go. Here's Lifford. Right. <laughs> It's two heats of this. Two heats of 16 cards. I'll just get the first couple of who's on the front here. It's Joey Young and Jack Noble Adams, Tom Black, Callum Mitchell, Blake Craig, Arthur Sands. No way. Who's got, this, who's got the run? It looks like it might be. Might have been Joey. Joey Young got the start. Joey goes, oh, he might have been taken by Jack Noble Adams. No. Joey goes, good. A bit of rivalry going on in this class these days. Yeah, Joey Young in first. Tom Black in second. Oh, I know those two have a good, good wee rivalry. Joey was saying yesterday that all he wanted to do was beat Tom. Well, he's doing it today. Tom's right there, though. He only has to make a mistake. In third place, we got Jack Noble Adams. Yep, Joe Young, followed by Tom Black. 515. Steve Wars has got on there now. Steve goes pretty good as well. 975s. It is Jack Noble Adams. He's dropped off the run a bit. Fourth place now. We're all racing pretty close, these guys. It could be anyone's race. Especially for the, the thirds and the fourths. Got one retired over the other side there. I'm not too sure who that is. Of course, there's no outside assistance for um, any adult grades at all. So Joe Young. Followed by Tom. Tom Black. Those two are having a good go. And Steve Walls is next. Followed by Jack Noble Adams. Jason Rich in fourth, I believe. Wilson might have just changed. No. There's a good battle going on there between Noble Adams. Jason. Yeah. Tom is coming for you, mate. Better look out. Don't look over your shoulder now. Keep your focus ahead. Those two seem to have got away from the rest of the pack. David Rules bringing up the rear, I believe.
Yeah, we got Joey Young. Tom Black. Oh, Joey's pretty handy on the old guitar and the singing as well, so you might be able to get a song out of him at the prize given. There's Steve Walls there in third place, still just hanging on. One lap to go now. Oh, it's getting, yep, third place is, oh, it's just changed. It's Can't see who got on there then. Yeah, it was Curtis Foster. Curtis Foster got into third. He, he pipped Steve there on the line. Oh, a good close bit of racing. All right, we've got the second heat all the way We got Lytton Rubin in first place, followed up by by Webby. Gotta watch out, Webby. He knows how to drive that boy. 105, I think it was in third place. That might be 185. Sorry, Aaron Henderson. Yep, Aaron's just got past Aaron Webb, Aaron Henderson, Aaron Webb in the third, first place is still Linton Rubin. Now yeah, Linton's starting to pull away from the crowd now. Just a little bit. All still pretty tight though. We'll be in the same engines. They shouldn't really be getting away from each other. Oh! That was Nigel Toogood at a wee incident with the concrete cone. Still two four six Linton Rubin. Five, oh one three one. 
Set to retire. Aaron Campbell. Was telling me earlier he hadn't raced for a year. Looks like he might be on the trailer. And now we've got Aaron Webb in the in the lead. How he did that, I missed. Linton Rubin second. Don't know how Webby does that. Just sneaks up on you. Aaron Henderson in third. We're up to their last lap now. Don't think anyone's going to catch Webby now. Let's cut the start on them all. So we've got a few ruts sort of starting to come into the corners already, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to be, look like it's going to be Aaron Webb that brings this one out. This one's been brought to you by uh, Generation Homes. It's a really good race, that was. Nice and tight, plenty of changing. Zero to one thirty cc water cooled power ported two strokes. That's brought to you by Stress Clyde. Building your dreams of from the ground up. Right, it looks like they're getting ready to go. Regan Turner's on one, Nathan Reed on two. You got to chat for Nathan. He always goes pretty good, especially on the start line. Justin Flett in third. Drew Godfrey in four. Got to watch out for Drew as well. He always goes well. We've got ben, ben McLaren down there off 10. There they go. Looks like Drew got a good start. Who have we got in the front there though? Can't really catch his numbers. Drew's in second. It could be Ben, I would say, in first. Six with Juan. Oh, that's Regan Turner. Regan Turner in first place. To Regan Turner in first place. It's 
followed by Drew Godfrey. Michael Miller in third. Jordan Trumper in, in fourth. Oh, they've come together there. Good. Looks like someone's retired out there. 181. It'll be Nathan Reed. Bugger Nathan. We got someone else on the other side of the track who's had to retire as well from this race. The Regan Turner. Clearly pulling away. No one really has anything on them. True can't get them. They're all stretched out now. If they don't make any mistakes, they'll all get to the end in pretty much the same order they are right now. Oh, we've got another one retired over the other side there. But Regan Turner, he's just robbed away from everybody. Regan Turner, Drew Godfrey. Regan Turner's going to have this one. Drew Godfrey, I mean second. Six, nine, six seven, nine. Michael Miller in third. Well done. Good race. Hey, hey, can we have some um, track maintenance crew, please? Going to need some water. We've got a couple of holes here we need to sort out. So if you guys could come and help. Track maintenance guys. We're just waiting for these uh, guys to get their carts off the track. Okay, so this is the first heat of the 206 to 255 water cool power pole two strips. Brought to you by Power Plus Electrical, which is our president of our club. Thank you very much, Stan, for sponsoring this. He didn't get, um, doesn't look like he got the first grid in the first race, so he didn't pay enough money, obviously. So we've got Quade Sutherland off one in the YZ250, Curtis Foster in the Narian 250, Casper Hogg in the K, KX250, Dan Ray in the KTM 250, Quinton Mackay in a YZ250, Jim Kennett in the KTM 250, Tom Hand in the RM250, Todd Kennett in the YZ250, Andrew Green in the KTM 250, Mike Ryan in the YZ, um, Kenny Patton in the YZ, and Wayne Crabb in an RN, and Greg Ryan in a KX. So we'll see what's happening here. 
They're doing a wee bit of maintenance, I think. Uh, don't forget to thank the guys who are helping out, the guys from the Timing Tech and all the all the marshals who volunteered their time. Give them a pat on the back if you see them walking around. Going to have a wee bit of track maintenance, I believe, after this race. Um, just go and talk to the boys and see what's happening. We'll just be uh, taking a wee water break after this race. So just let you know. Got a couple of holes we need to get um, wet again. So I believe there's like 230 carts here today. Or entrance. It's pretty pretty good, never seen that before. Alright. Quade Sutherland is off one, and Curtis Foster is off two, Casper Hogg off three, Dan Ray off four. We'll see which one of those coming out first. You all seem to be getting pretty good launches off the uh, start line. These guys will be quick, I dare say. Quite quick. Don't blink, you'll miss the race. All right, number 250 got in there first up. What a start that was. That was Quay Sutherland. Good start. Mackay in second place. Quade Sutherland is still in the front there. Might be Curtis Foster, I think, in third place.
Ja, okay, das war's da. Follow up by Andrew Green. Andrew Green's making some uh, progress here. Gotta watch out for Green, he's always in there. Sorry, Quaid Sutherland in the first. Curtis Foster in second. Oh, Greeny's having a go. You'll sneak past when you least expect them. Curtis, a better arm. Um, look out. Well, we've got one off here in the corner, 107. Greg Ryan, he's, he's pooped his race, I'd say, unfortunately. Quade Sutherland from Curtis Foster. Wee! Oh hey! Wee! -hey. Wheelies! Don't forget those canes, they can hurt. Yeah, well, Greenie's made third place now. Once he gets away, it's hard to catch. Don't know whether he'll get up to the other guys and we'll see. Quade Sutherland's still well on form. Curtis Foster's still staying with him. Starting to throw some dirt around now. No, no, 238. That's Clint Mackay, second place. Now, Greeny in third. Curtis lost his back on four now. Mike Ryan in fifth. But I think Quade Sutherland's got this one sewn up. It's going to be Quade Sutherland's race. Clint McKay is going to be in second. Andrew Green in third. And Curtis Foster in fourth. Mike Ryan in, in fifth. He did pretty good to go from ten to five. We're just going to take a wee break for a second to do some watering now. Um, back soon.
obviously they didn't take a break for water. So I missed who's actually in the lead here. Not too sure. Not pretty spread out. Pretty sure our leader is 815. Maybe not. No. He's actually yeah. Mike McKenzie might be in the lead actually. No. He's in the middle of the pack. Take one five. He ended up winning that one. There's Kane by the way. Well done. Good lead too. Followed up by Andy Youngson, second place. It might have been Mike McKenzie, I think, in third. Mike's done well to do that. Well, I think now we're going to get some water. Take a wee break for a few seconds. That was brought to you by Power Plus Electrical, thanks to Stan, club president. Now we've got a big race coming, two big races coming up here with 16 carts in both, in, uh, both, both heats. And that is the uh, 256 to 510 cc water cooled, so these are the biggest ones. The fastest ones there are out there. Hopefully no one comes off the track and runs me over. But off number one, we've got Andrew Patton, Rowan Chang off two, Evan Morgan off three, Ben Lister off four, Andrew Simpson on five, Jack Noble M Adams on six, Andrew Youngson on seven, Robbie Wells on eight, Andrew Clifton on nine, Simon Bradley, you got to watch out for Simon, got the flash cart apparently, on ten, Tony Hammer, 10 on 11, sorry, Sarah Jane Terrace on 12, Ben McLaren on 13, watch out for Ben, uh, Doug Heaton on 14, watch out for Doug, he was running off the track, uh, David Gibb on 15, and Stan McKenzie on 16, so give old Stan a big cheer, poor bugger starting at the back on his first race. And this one's brought to you by Access Man, uh, the guys who've obviously done the scissor lifts and that sort of stuff for us. It's Doug Sean with his um, hard to start car car. Uh, my pick for this uh, race would be the Simon Bradley or probably Ben McLaren. Things will, uh, we'll see. Oh, they're about to go now. So Andrew Patton and Rowan Chang off the front. Evan Morgan and Ben Lister in behind them. So we'll see who gets the jump.
looked like Andrew Simpson got got through the pack there. Now just give himself straight to the front. Yeah, Ben McLaren is straight to the front, actually, I must say. 906 in second place. Andy Clifford, got to watch out. Andy goes pretty good too, pretty strong guy. Pretty hard to beat Ben, though. Ben always seems to clean up every year. Don't know how he seems to do it, but he does. Just running away as he normally does. Exceptional driver, Ben. Andy Clifford Ford. Got Jack Noble Adams in fourth. I missed who third was. It's Andrew Simpson's coming off the track. He's back on now, though. Sarah Jane. Not pulling up the rear. I do believe it might be Evan Morgan's actually pulling up the rear. The beam's getting away. Someone's coming to get him, though, by the looks of things. It might be Simon Bradley. No, it's not. Number seven four. It's Tony Hammond. Followed by Jack Noble Adams. Then Simon Bradley. And Ben Lister following up in fifth. But Ben's just absolutely left him behind as he always does. Find this player driving. Got a broken wheel. I think that was Andy Youngson there who managed to finish the whole race with a flat tire. He didn't see any black flags, so he's lucky. Well, we've got the second heat now.
Alright. Right, this one we've got Jade Bailey, Peter Morgan, John Tilks, Mike Smith, Mike Shane, Sands, Lake Craig, Phil Watson, the old cousin, cousin Phil. been racing a few years, many years in fact, I would say 25 years he's been karting, straight to the front, been the president of the club down in, in the cargo, don't know whether he still is, pretty sure he might be, top bloke, he's driving well, Ooh, took a big hit then on the old tyres, we've got a little hole coming in there. I think we got Mike Smith in second place here. Jake Bailey in third. Oh, Peter Morgan's lost his lead now. Not too sure who to yet. Might be Michael Sands. No, it's not. It's Mike Smith. Yeah, Mike goes well too, you know, nice fit, good fit guy. Drives hard. Oh, there goes Glenn Jenkins. Nice pass on Phil Watson there. Self up a fifth now. Yeah. Six, sorry. The Mike Smith, he's away. He's done well. I think he's run this a couple of times in the past. Peter Morgan in second. That might be Nick Cullen coming into third. That goes pretty hard as well. No, Nick's just coming to fourth. He's hunting them down. Wanted. 
Yep. So the yeah. parts for the race. Roll down parts. Good on you. Uh, just little new adults on that note, and kids as well. Well, kids we want to stay in the carts, but adults definitely, can you try and get out of your carts if, if you spin up as soon as you can and get your cart off the track, thanks. Um, otherwise, someone's going to run under you. Try and get it sorted out. Make sure it's safe to do so. If there's carts coming around to, to see you, put your hands in the air. And then, and then get out when the track's clear and get your car off the track as soon as you can, thanks. Alright. Right, now we've got um, Ross Gold sponsoring this one. Lock on Alarms Limited, Complete Security Solutions. It's the 025 Equal Four Strokes. I think Jonathan Smith might have got the jump there front, not sure. Running an FXR 150. Those to show those motors are pretty good engines. Track start to come up a little bit from like that corner there. Think you could be getting a wee bit dangerous. The clay here is just all run away from this. Heck. There are bricks in the second still. I think if he can keep it together, he's pretty safe in second, but I don't think he'll be catching clay. He's coming around to lap somebody already. Removed his back bar for this race. Please uh, don't forget if you've got any disputes. Take them up with the right people. Has to be at least uh, 100 metres away from now. 
maybe even 200 metres ahead. Nothing catching him. One lap to go now. May still well and truly in the lead. Followed by 975. Jack Noble Adams. Yeah, Clay Pio on his last, last corner now. Done really well. Well done, Clay. Followed by 186. Oh, no, it wasn't 106. 975 was the second place. Just checking over that. Oh, 998 just got through there at the last minute there. Sorry, 984, which was, no, it yep, was 998. Harry Silcott. Four. So the end of this round, that's what's going to happen. This is the last race for the round, which is the uh, 206 to 255 water pool power total force race. Don't hang it with a power pool force race. Power Plus Electrical again. Thank you very much, Sam. We've got two heats here, actually. This isn't the last race we've got. It's going to be a fast one, this one. Let's see how they go. Who we got coming around first? Hey, uh, if there's anyone that wants to sell a 40 mil axle, um, do you want to go to cart number 479? So I believe we got uh, 970 Brendan Stratford. Oh, I think Kev Gardner might have just got on there. 942, yeah, Kev's in second place now. 841, Carl Robbins in third. Got to thank Kev Gardner for the um, help he's given us too. He uh, does bring all the machinery in for us to use. Kevin Stewart in 
fourth class. We've got Cam Godfrey and Oh, she's getting pretty hot in there now. Cam Godfrey's in there, Lee Watson's in there. Kyle Roberts is still in there, he's been pushed to the back a little bit. First bunch. A fight for position, that's for sure. A hunt down Kev now. Gavin's turn up third. A Cam Godfrey and in fourth, Lee Watson in fifth. Lee will have a go, but he'll have a go any time. He'll be trying, they're all trying. There's a few cones going down this time though. Now see, this is a good example of what you don't do in your race. You don't stand there and try and start your cart. You push it well off the corner. Keep going, they've still got it there. There's a good fight going on for third, second, third, and fourth. Yeah, Kev's getting away, he's doing well. Haven't seen him drive this good before. Lee Watson, he's got himself through to second. Kev's going to have to look out now. Because Lee will be hunting him down. Got one lap to do it. Yeah, here he comes. Lee and Kev Gardner now. Kev will only have to make a wee mistake and Lee will be right there. Don't know whether there's much passing opportunities. Oh, here he goes, here he goes, yeah. Lee's got him. Yep, Lee's won the... He's done it. Kev Gardner just missed out. Leads the whole race to the last corner. To Lee Watson, uh, Kev Gardner, and then followed by Kev Godfrey. Okay, just let you know the next this race is brought to you by Power Plus. In the next race we've got Jack Noble Adams, Paul Harris, Ben McLaren. Of course, course you'll have Ben, Stan Kenzie, you'll have Stan, because he'll run over. Darren Patterson, Jason Young, Young Steve Hogg, Alex Bright, AJ, AJ Demix, Connor Dolan, and Ashley Hope. Jeez, mate. 